nerds, hi yogis, Carly Rose here, and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a quick balancing vinyasa flow. So the idea is really to challenge our balance while we're moving. So let's get right into it, starting with our warm up. We'll start with an ankle to knee or double pigeon warm up, one of my favorites, uh, just because it's a great way to start opening up your legs, getting into your hips. Um, when we do it as warm up, we're not worrying about the stretch so much. So. And ankles and knees are stacked, top foot is flexed, bottom foot can be flexed or rotated slightly towards the mat, whatever is most comfortable for you. Really think about grounding into the earth with your sits bones, waving the spine up tall and extending through the crown of your head. And we'll just start by warming up our breath, our mula bandha breath here. So think about breathing, filling our low belly and pelvic floor area in a 360 direction, kind of like you're filling a bowl. And inhale, fill the space with air, and exhale, squeeze the air in and up, exhaling all the way up your spine and exhaling through the nose. Inhale here. It's a great and simple way to start activating all of our core muscles and get our breath moving, which we want to keep our breath going through the entire flow. Nice, couple more here. And we'll start adding some movement to this. So inhale, lean forward just a little bit. Exhale, lean yourself just a little bit um, back and do fist of fire to low belly. Inhale here. So we're getting a little bit of movement in our legs as we're doing this. Hopefully a little bit more of a kind of a passive stretch as well as getting some movement in our spine and our arms and activating our core just a bit more. Last one here. Very nice, back to center. We'll switch sides. So now left leg is on top, right leg's on the bottom. Again, flexing that top foot and then finding the comfortable position for the bottom leg. Really grounding into the earth and sitting up tall and channeling our mula bound of breath just in case it went anywhere. Sometimes when we start moving, we kind of forget about our breath, but we really do want to maintain it through our entire yoga practice. So inhaling, exhale. And as you're exhaling, think about uh, we want our big ujjayi or victorious breath sound as we exhale. So that comes from kind of like if you're trying to fog up a mirror window, you go, <sighs> we're kind of doing that, but with our mouth closed, so it's exhaling through the nose. So think about that, and that's how you get that ujjayi sound. So inhale. Inhale. It's almost like Darth Vader kind of breath. Just a little bit, you know, we're getting our, our power, our victorious sound. So not quite as you know, evil. <laughs> we'll start with some movement again. So inhale, lean forward, exhale, slight lean back. Really think about still grounding into the earth and lifting up tall through your spine as you do this. A few more times here. We'll think about this of fire to your low belly. That's our strong mudra here. And the last one. Very nice. Now from here, we're going to make our way to our downward facing dog. So finding a comfortable way to get there, however you choose. I'm going to come into a forward fold first with really bent knees and then walk forward. Coming to a comfortable position to settle into downward facing dog. Now, of course, we're still warming up our legs here, so you can pedal out your feet, walk out the dog. Get some blood flowing in the legs, start to warm up your calf muscles. Now, from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. We're going to wave forward one vertebrae at a time, coming into our plank. Come onto your knees, lower down to the earth through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. 
then wave yourself up to cobra and you can come to a low cobra if that feels good come to a higher cobra kind of wherever your stretch is today and exhale coming back to downward facing dog so from here we're going to do a twisted dog just a little bit of a challenge in our dog pose so twist your knees to the right pressing back sitting into your hips Really stretching out the right side body. Coming back to center. Exhale to the left. Really breathing into your left side body as you do this. Back to center. Back to the right. And last time to the left, really starting to warm up and back to center. Now bend knees and elbows again. We'll do that vinyasa wave. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. We come onto our knees so we have healthy alignment for our shoulders and exhale. Very nice. Now we'll start adding some extra balance challenges to this. So bend your knees to the right, twisted dog. Hold here for a moment and exhale, extend into a side plank. Now you can stay here if that's enough of a challenge for you. Or right arm extends to the sky. And if you want to really challenge your balance, obviously we're balancing right now on our arm. You can stack your feet or right knee can lift to the sky. Really grounding into the earth with your left hand and foot, really lifting the hips. Now exhale, here's the fun challenge. Right hand plants, you come onto your toes to the left, right leg still in the air. Exhale for core plank and step the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, really ground into the earth with your feet, rolling in and up to your high lunge. And exhale, we'll do three fists of fire here. Inhale, extend up, exhale, inhale up, exhale last time. Now here's where we're gonna get really balanced challenge. Lean yourself forward, ground into the earth with your right foot. Really strongly lift all of the energy up from the earth, from the mat up your right leg. Left knee comes into the chest, kind of like Karate Kid almost. <laughs> and you're going to extend your left foot forward. Don't need to worry about it being straight, just extending it. And we're gonna stay balancing. Hands can come to heart center, if that makes it easier. And fold yourself over to a warrior three, extending out through the left leg. And exhale, still balancing, coming back up. Left knee lifts into your chest again. Arms reach up, and you can keep your knee bent, or we'll Extend, we'll kick a fire here. Folding forward again. Hands come to heart center. Left knee is bent until you fold over and then extend to warrior three. Exhale, coming back up. Really lifting in and up. Arms lift, little karate kid asana kick. And last one, coming back into warrior three. Seeing if you can hold it here. Huge balance challenge on your right leg. Arms can extend back. You can fly your warrior three. Then exhale, hands fold forward. Wave the spine long and exhale, coming into a split. Coming to that first edge of stretch on the right leg. Seeing where you can lift your left leg. And you can play around with keeping your hips square or opening your hips and seeing if you like that stretch better, do them both. I like to usually do both when I'm doing a forward fold splits. Come back to center. From here, step your left foot back. Really ground into the earth with your hands. Right leg lifts. Come onto the pinky toe edge of your left foot. We're going to come back to our side plank balance. Lifting up with the right arm and exhale. 
exhale, back to plank, come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to downward facing dog. Very nice, pedal out your feet, noticing the difference on the right and left side already. Just from one quick flow on our right side. But we have two sides, so we'll try it here. So exhale, knees go to the left, coming into our twisted dog for a moment. Exhale, extending into your side plank. Now if this is enough, you can stay here. Extend your right arm to, the, or left arm, excuse me, to the sky. Really grounding into the earth with the right palm, lifting the hips up. You can stay here. You can stack your feet. Really challenging our balance by being on just one arm or left knee can lift to the sky. Huge balance challenge here. Make sure you're lifting up with your hips. You don't want to be sinking towards the earth. Then exhale, left hand plants. Come on to your right toes. Left knee is still in the air. And exhale for core plank. Step forward, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up. Come into your high lunge, we'll do three fists of fire. Now lean yourself forward. We have our epic balance challenge here. The grounding into the earth with your left foot, lifting everything in and up, lifting up over your left foot, right knee comes up to the sky, into your chest, little karate kid movement here. Exhale, extending out through your heel, and then coming back, folding, right knee tucks in, stays bent, then you fold yourself forward and extends out through the heel to warrior three. Exhale, lifting back up. As we're doing this, we're thinking about lifting in and up all the way through all your core muscles, from your foot all the way up your spine. We're doing slow, controlled, movements here. We're building strength, balance, obviously, <laughs> but the idea is that it's not, it's not momentum, it's controlled movement. And last time, extending back into warrior three. You can even fly your arms back, a little extra added challenge. From here, exhale, fingertips plant in front of you. Start with the bent knee, wave your spine long and fold over that front leg. You can keep your right foot kind of in a warrior three position. You can fold more, point the toes, lift a little higher. Play with closed hips or opening your hips to the right, depending where you want your stretch. And wherever you are, coming back to center, stepping your right foot back behind you, firmly planting your feet, stepping back, coming onto that pinky toe edge again, and lifting, extending through your left arm, lifting into that side plank again. Exhale back to high plank, come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to down dog. Very nice, now from here, walk your feet back towards your hands, really bent knees, come into that forward fold now. From here, once you wave your spine long, you can extend your legs to that first edge of stretch. Get some balancing on our legs, some balancing on our arms. We're going to do one more quick balance stretch before Shavasana. So bend into your knees here. Really ground into the earth with your right foot. Lifting in and up. We'll Karate Kadasana again. And then left ankle places onto the right leg just above the knee and really sit back kind of into a chair pose. Really sitting back into your sits bones. Arms reach out in front of you or can be in heart center. 
Think about building your balance and strength here while stretching the right hip and the left hip. Then from here, you can even forward fold more. Fingertips can plant on the earth. You can find a wave in a fold. You can even extend your right leg into a bit more of a stretch on that side if that feels good. Then from here, bend your knees. Lift back up. Balance it. And exhale back to center. Of course, we got one more side. So inhaling, grounding into the earth with your left foot. Really lifting in and up all the way up from your foot. Inner thigh, core to lift that right knee again through your Karate Kidasana. And exhale. Right leg plants on top of left. Sitting back into your sits bones. You really want to be sitting into your heel. Stretching, strengthening, and balancing all in one go. <laughs> Multitasking. Again, you can take the stretch to the floor if you want, placing fingertips in front of you, coming into a deeper stretch, even extending the left leg if that feels good. Wherever you are, lifting back in and up through our final balance challenge, right knee lifts. And exhale, back to your forward fold, wave side to side, bending one knee and then the other. It's a quick challenge today, but it is definitely a challenge to balance on one arm or one leg for that amount of time. So awesome job for attempting it and definitely keep trying it and see if you can Hold your balances, you know, longer and longer as you practice that balancing strength. And from here, making your way onto the mat, coming into your final resting pose, a well-deserved, well-earned Shavasana. So hug your knees into your chest. So you can circle them one way and then the other. And from here, take a moment, walk your feet out wide, let your knees knock towards each other. Help reset your low back. Take a moment, just kind of rest here. You can even do like a little windshield wiper move from here. If you drop your right knee open and let your left knee kind of fall into the center. I like this variation too. I think it gets a different stretch, but I feel like it's a really good stretch. So hopefully you like it too. You can get into some areas that need to be, you know, have any tension released or be stretched out or relaxed. And then take any final poses or stretches that you might need here. Whenever you're ready, come into your Shavasana, your final resting. Let all of that strength and balance that you just cultivated take you through the rest of the day with whatever you've got going. I hope you enjoyed that flow. I definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again. So of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you get notifications when the new videos go up and make sure you get on the League of Nerd Yogis email list because I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.